Hi, so this is the second video on the playlist where we're looking at triangular prisms. Now in the previous video we looked at calculating the surface area and the triangular prism that we were given was uh, these sorts of dimensions. So it was going to be 3 and 4, this bit here was 5 and this bit over here was 7 and the dimensions that we were given were all in centimetres and we calculated the total surface area for that particular triangular prism at uh, 96 centimetres squared. However, on this particular video we're going to deal with the other part of the question which is to calculate the volume. Okay, so in other words, if you had something like that made out of plastic and you put a whole load of water in it, how much water would you be putting in or how much chocolate would you be putting in? Because these are, are quite like in the UK, we have um, Toblerone, uh, which is a chocolate in a triangular box. Okay, so what we need to do is work out the volume. Well, the way to work out the volume is we look at the area multiplied by the depth. Okay, so um, if we look at this, the area here, it's this triangle. So what we're doing then is taking this triangle, working out its area, and then we're going to multiply it by 7, which is the depth of this particular box. Okay, so let's get the area of the triangular first. Well, an area of triangle is a half a b. Okay, where this is a and this is b. So if we look at the details, we've got this. So this is 3 and this is 4. And it's a half of 3 times 4, which is going to be 6. So 3 times 4 is 12, and then 12 times a half is going to be 6. So the area of this particular triangle at the end of the triangular prism is 6 centimetres squared. Now to get the volume I'm going to multiply that by 7 which is the depth. So 6 times 7 is 42 centimetres cubed. Okay and that's the value of the volume of this particular triangular prism. Now just be very careful that you've got centimetres cubed for volume and in the previous video we had centimetres squared for area. Okay, um, I hope that's been helpful for you. It's the first couple of videos in looking at triangular prisms and I will add some more examples on the playlist as well. Please do subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.